Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it'd be a really fun video to share with you guys a chatty get ready with me as I have been loving new makeup products recently that I haven't shared onto my YouTube channel. So I thought it'd be really fun just to give you guys an update of my makeup routine and what I have been using on my face recently. I've already done my eyebrows because that would literally take me a whole video in one to sit and film them all. So my eyebrows are already done. I'm now going to be doing my eyes. For my eyes, I'm going to be using my favourite eyeshadow palette that I haven't used in ages and that is the Empowered Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. I've been using quite a lot of Morphe eyeshadow palettes recently so I thought I would pick this one back up again as it is one of my favourites and this is a favourite makeup video of what I've been loving and this is just my all time favourite eyeshadow palette. I love the shades inside and as you can see it is well loved. They have also actually brought out new eyeshadow palette that I'm desperate to get my hands on. I just love Huda Beauty. It's one my favourite makeup brands and I just love that eyeshadow palette. I also have a selection of Morphe brushes that are old and new. I did actually sort it all out and just put a load in all together. So these are all my makeup brushes and then at the back I have some new Morphe brushes to use. They are actually going out everywhere because I do have so many Morphe eyeshadow brushes because I love using Morphe eyeshadow brushes for my eyeshadow. I don't know why but they are just so nice and really easy to apply and they're just so good. These are the new ones that I have bought recently. They have come in a set which is so cool. They do actually have a version of eyeshadow sets that I really would like to get my hands on and try as well. So this is the face set and it's just so cool. I love the colours of this eyeshadow brush and they're just so nice they have morphe on them i'm not really sure what ones these are but i think these are the new ones so i will leave a link description down below if you'd like to go and check that out this would be so good for like highlighter and things just to put on your cheeks so i'm really excited to use this and i feel like this would be really good for contour to just to blend in so that is the new morphe brushes that i'll be trying in this video as well because like I said, Morphe brushes are my favourite brushes to use. I only ever really use Morphe eyeshadow brushes and brushes when I do my base. I am going to start off with the eyes. I always start off with the eyes no matter what because it's just the easiest. Sometimes I will switch it up and start with my face makeup but they are mainly over on my beauty TikTok account. But I am going to be setting my eyes with just this powder that I found. It's Bright Eyes. And I think it's W7. It says under eye brightening and setting powder. This is so cool. I love this. I never used to set my eyes with my powder until I went to a hair and makeup beauty course. And you can actually set your eyes before you put the eyeshadow on. I just think it's such a good idea. I don't know why I never knew this trick before. Because it has actually made a difference in the way I do my eyeshadow and things like that. But first I am actually going to put concealer on. Because I do want to conceal my eyes. I'm going to put concealer on first before I do my powder. I'm using the last in Perfection Concealer. I have been loving this. I just love that it brightens up my eyes so much. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to take this Morphe flat brush and just pat that on like that and then I will literally just go over the top of my eyelids and then I will actually go on my eyelids too. I also like doing this because it does carve out a little bit of your eyebrows which is so good because I love carving out my eyebrows. It just makes them a lot bolder and nicer. And as you can see this concealer is the perfect shade for putting based on your eyeshadow before you do it. I also really want to get into using eye primer because I actually have never used eye primer before on my eyes. I feel like I probably have when I was like 16 using Urban Decay eye primer but I really want to get into using eye primer because I want to see what it's all about. I've been doing makeup for so long now and I still can't believe I have not tried it so I might purchase that. I feel like I haven't done a sit down chatty get ready with me in a while because I have been over on TikTok a lot more than my YouTube but I'm definitely getting back into my YouTube videos and I'm going to have set days of when I want to film 
for my YouTube so I don't leave that out because I actually love filming on my YouTube channel. It is one of my favourite things to do. I am just going in with the other eye now and I'm literally just going to put some more on the back of my hand. I feel like this lighting is very bright because I am right near the window because it just makes me look so pale even though it is just the bright light. I always prefer to film against a bright light rather than like an orangey light. As you can see, putting the concealer on the eyelids just makes such a difference in the eye shape and the eyeshadow. I just really prefer it recently. It's been my absolute favourite. On my hair and beauty course, I have actually learned so many new tips and tricks. Like, I knew a lot about makeup, but I didn't know, like, all of the little ins and outs of makeup. So, it was really nice to learn some new tips and tricks. If you'd like to see what I did at my hair and beauty course, I have actually posted it on my Instagram on my hair and makeup page. So I will leave it linked in the link description down below if you'd like to go and see what I learned and what I created. Put the concealer all on my eyes. I'm now going to go in with this powder as you would have seen from the start. I'm using my Ariel morphe brush to do that with i love these ariel morphe brushes they are just so good and so soft and it's just really nice and this is also so easy to apply you literally just put it on the end of the eye and then all over the base i'm not entirely sure if i was supposed to put the concealer on first or not but i will double check with one of my friends who actually was doing the hair and beauty course and then ask her and then I will let you like guys know in the next update because I don't actually know if you're supposed to do that or not but it seems to work either way so I'm sure it's fine. My eyeshadow brush, I am using this Morphe eyeshadow brush. If you guys look back on my other videos you will know that this brush is literally a staple of my makeup routine. I do not use any other brush so I really need to start venturing out because I don't actually think Morphe sell these type of brushes anymore but I do have a couple of others that I sometimes use so then I can switch it up a bit so I'm going to be using all of the lighter shades first and then working my way into the darker shades and then creating like a sort of smoky eye as I haven't done a smoky eye in such a long time so that'd be really fun to do so I'm going to be using this colour I'm going to mix it in with this and maybe a little bit of the orange just to give it a nice base undertone before I do the smoky eye so I actually do my makeup a little bit different so I start off like here and then I just sit and blend it for a while and then I blend out and I try to avoid the lid area so I can put the glitter in the lid Just gonna wipe a little bit of that away because I do want to try and avoid the lid area as much as possible but not too much as that is where I would like to put the glitter and I also went to the hair and beauty course if you have seen my video of what I learned everything about there that it's actually easier to hold your eye and just do it like this all this time I have not been doing this on my own eye and it actually has made such a difference in the way I do my eye shadow. You can also see how easy these Morphe brushes are to blend out. They are just so good. I also really want to start getting into creative makeup and all of that side as well so I might do a couple of videos of creative makeup as I love watching creative makeup. Klee is one of my all time favourite makeup artists because he is so good at makeup. If you haven't seen what he does you need to check him out because he is amazing. I will also leave him in the link description down below because I'm just obsessed with the way he does his makeup. If I would want anyone to do my makeup it would definitely be him because he is insane at makeup. Honestly I just love his makeup. The way he just puts it on is just so seamless and so flawless and it's just 
Honestly, he is so talented. I love it. I also love really watching his makeup reels as well because they're so nice. I am just going to be taking my other Morphe brush and going in with a darker shade for that smoky eye look. And I'm going to pop that here where you can't see the orange base. I'm just going to continue to put this on my eye and build it up. I feel like it is pretty smoky now, so I'm now going to do the same as what I did on that eye on this eye. I love this Morphe brush, it literally gets right into the inner corners and you can blend it out so easily. It just glides on your eyes, that is why Morphe brushes are my favourite. You can also just blend the eyeshadow into any shape you want to blend it into and it will just work. For my glitter I am actually using something that I've never used before and I'm so excited to try it in this video. I'm using this little eyeshadow pomade and I think it is a glitter because it looks a lot like a glitter and I thought this would just work so well with um, this makeup look. I did accidentally just poke my finger through the glitter but it's a cream glitter and I just feel like it would look so good. It is in the shade cup or a drop for my brush i am going to be using just this little brush by morphe to get into the inner corner of the eyes so this is what it is it is not focusing properly but that's what it is i'm literally just going to take a tiny little bit off my brush and then pop it right on the end of my eyes like this in the inner corner and just spread it out. I am also going to be using my hands as well because I feel like that is a lot easier too. This glitter is perfect for this look. It just is so nice. I'm not sure if you can see that little shimmer. I will come a bit closer so you can see it. But I am obsessed. There's the little shimmer. I've also never used a cream glitter before, so I do like the consistency of that and the way it just goes straight on. For my eyeliner, I am actually going to be doing an eyeshadow winged eyeliner because that is one of my favourites and I've just loving a winged eyeliner recently it's so much easier and it just looks so much nicer i feel like i suit the eyeshadow wing more than the eyeliner pen i just feel like it's just a lot nicer and i'm going to use an angled morphe brush and just go in with like the darker eyeshadows and just sort of mix them together to give off that winged look and i am actually not going to do a flick i'm just going to keep it right up close like this For my lashes, I'm going to be using these Made by Mitchell lashes and they are the ones called Don't Call Me Out but they are so subtle and so nice and it definitely goes with this makeup look because I don't want it to be too much. That's why I love these little lashes rather than the big full lashes. This is what the Made by Mitchell eyelashes look like on. Oh, no, I didn't film that because it always takes me so long to fiddle around with the lashes. I'm not very good at lashes yet so I'm trying to work out how to put them on. Like I kind of figured them out in this 
eyeshadow look but I don't really know if they are on properly or not so I do need to work on that so maybe I could do a little video on that even though I can't quite put them on but it'll be a really good practice video to make. I also do like to add a little bit of mascara but today I'm going to skip the top eyes and just work on the bottom eye. Iconic London mascara i love the iconic london brand it is so good it's also one of my favorite makeup brands i feel like i have so many favorites that i generally don't have a favorite because i love them all so so much but i do know that morphe is like one of my favorites and i just put that on the top of my eyelid even though i said i'm not going to because it's such a habit so i'm just gonna stick with the bottoms because I don't really want the top to look too full because I want it to look subtle and still give off that um, eyeshadow base so I can't believe I've just done that out of habit so now I'm going to have to do the same bit as that to that eye. Next step is one of my favourite parts and that is my face and I just love my face makeup it's honestly the best just putting it on. If you would have watched my recent videos, you would know that I do love to put this Fit Me primer on. This is just one of my favourite primers and I've had it for such a long time and it just works really well on my face and it definitely makes your foundation leave on for the longest time. It's a matte primer and I don't really use matte primers but this one I use all the time. It also smells so good as well. I can't get over how nice it smells. For my foundation, I have actually got a new foundation to try. And this is the HNB Cosmetics Foundation. I haven't used this yet, so I'm really excited to see what this brand is all about. And it's a silky matte weightless foundation, so I'm really excited to see. I don't really use matte foundations, I'm more of a liquid foundation I'll be using the Comana marshmallow sponge because these are the best sponges this foundation is the perfect shade and it also smells really nice too I love foundations that smell really nice Honestly, this Clay Mana Marshmallow Sponge is so good and as you can see it literally just covered within seconds. That's why I love these marshmallow sponges. Like watch how quick it blends your makeup in and it's perfect for when you're in a rush too and you just want to do a quick foundation. I also feel like this um, shade is very pale for my face but I will bronze it out because I've got some new bronzers and things to try so hopefully it will look okay once I have bronzed it all up but I also love the consistency and it doesn't feel too full it's just that really nice light coverage this marshmallow sponge is also working really well with the foundation too I feel like I don't use any other brushes now that I've got these even though I have just bought new Morphe brushes but I will also show you what they're all about as well but I just love these marshmallow sponges to put on my foundation now you know when you get like beauty blenders that leaves the straight in your foundation these do not do that at all just to add a little bit of glow I am going to be using one of my favorites and that is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter just so it isn't all matte and it does have a little bit of a shine to it i will use another morphe brush to blend this in so you can see how good the new ones are i also did just get a little bit of foundation on my shoulder which is brilliant i will wipe that off so it doesn't be annoying in instead the video. of using my marshmallow sponges which i feel very upset about that i'm not using it because clay Marla is the best brand ever i'm going to be using my morphe brushes which are just as nice and just as good as the marshmallow sponges i'm going to be using this one because i feel like this one would be a really good one to blend in that little glow with i did also just open my blind up a little bit just to give a little bit of like sunlight glow because it's a dull day today but I feel like the sun is like coming out somewhere as you can see because it is a little bit brighter but this brush is so lovely I love the way I just blend it out and it just disappears and I don't even have to put any 
hard work into it which is so good and I'm also just going to take a bit down to the bottom of my neck because I did think this foundation was really pale but now looking at it it does give off like a little bit of darkness so I'm just going to take it down I do really like this foundation though I did think I wouldn't like it because I thought it would be very matte but it is so nice and I feel like this will become a staple in my every single day makeup for concealer I am going to be using the last in radiance concealer by Rimmel I have no idea how I started using this concealer I have just been using it for as long as I can imagine it is just such a good concealer I did stock up on so much of this concealer because I love it the consistency just feels really nice and it just is a really good concealer and it's not too full and it's not too light coverage it's just like the medium in between it is so lovely also feels so good when you put it on your face too because it's just not that cakey concealer all I do with that is just pop it on the underneath of my eyes and then I sometimes put it underneath my nose because I do have quite a bit of redness that I do want to cover up and a little bit on my chin and just anywhere where I want it really Also, this foundation is not budging at all. It's so good. I'm actually obsessed. I also have an order of a Clay Manor box because this is her new brand. And I did actually get the chocolate box. So it's so nice, the chocolate box. It is a mini version of the marshmallow sponges. And she did actually put a freebie with my order. She put in the old cocoa cosmetics by chloe beauty blenders which is so cute because i was trying to keep all of my old marshmallow sponges just in memory of her old name so this is the chocolate box it literally comes like this and it just says chloe Mano on it with a really cute bow and then you would take this off i'm not actually going to use any of these ones though because i am keeping this for my makeup kit so it comes like this there was a leaflet inside but i did just drop it so this is what all of the minis look like there's shape ones and shape twos they're just so cute i love this you can't actually get these anymore which i'm so so sad about because i love using these they're so good for the under eye. i will show you in a second because i literally have a drawer full of hamashis honestly i love the marshmallow sponges but i just think the layer of this is so nice i think it's so cute how it comes like this and it literally says like raspberry truffle mint cheesecake strawberry cream fudge brownie hazelnut cream strawberry cream fudge brownie hazelnut cream and mint cheesecake and it literally has a name for every mini i mean it's just adorable i actually love it and i just love her brand too she is so nice as well and i just love all of these this is perfect to get in the inner corner of an eye so i'm going to keep this one for my makeup kit and i'll show you how good the shape ones are of the minis i just wanted to unbox that little a haul with you because if you haven't heard of this brand already you definitely need to go and check it out it is just amazing. get a couple of shape ones out of my drawer because i can actually find them all because i have so many so i am going to use this one and it's just such an amazing sponge to use because it definitely like gets right in in a corner as you can see and it blends out so well for how many this sponge is it definitely does the job I also use this sponge on other people as well when I do their makeup because it's just so easy and it just gets right in. It is honestly better than a brush. Like, look how well that blended out. I honestly can't get over how quick these marshmallow sponges make your foundation blend out too. 
that was literally like blended out in seconds and it just looks so flawless all because of these marshmallows I don't need any more concealer on but made by Mitchell has brought out new concealers and these are called balm concealers I got these in the BB1 shade and I just want to see what it's all about because as you can see I haven't used it yet so I am going to pop some of this on just to show you guys what it is and how good it is and if I think it is any good. I have used his new skin tints and oh my god I love the skin tints. I have actually uploaded a TikTok of that so I will go and leave that in the link description down below as well. I'm just going to get a flat brush out for this and just scoop it and put it on because I feel like that's the only way it's going to work and it's a cream based concealer. I'm just going to pop a little bit here just to see. I'm not going to put too much on because I have already got concealer on already. Okay, so far I love the consistency of it and it definitely blends out like a dream. And a little goes a long way. I'm now obsessed with this Made by Mitchell concealer. He honestly just never fails to disappoint and brings out the best product. I am just going to use my hand slightly because my brush is very creamy so I'm just going to get a new brush. I'm going to get the new Morphe brush and just blend that out. I like the formula of the concealer. It was also really brightening which I do love. I feel like that's going to be in my every single day makeup routine now because it does give off a really nice bright undertone as you can see with the difference oh my god i actually love this it's so nice for my contour i'm going to be using the made by mitchell curve case this is in the shade light i have the medium but i haven't tried the lighter shade so i'm really excited to try this the colors inside literally look stunning i'm obsessed with the other made by mitchell medium curve case so i feel like this is going to be in every single day a staple. I was debating whether to put this in my makeup kit, but I'm so glad I actually didn't because I know I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of this. And besides, I could always get another one if I love it that much. I'm actually going to be using my Made by Mitchell brushes because it would be rude not to as I am using his product. So this is his brushes. I literally have the whole set i have a collection of his brushes because his brushes are actually really good and it just blends out things so well i do love his brushes as well as his makeup products so i'm gonna go in with these two shades and then i'm also going to try out one of the blushes as well so i'm literally just gonna swipe this it's a cream contour i honestly love cream products at the moment i just find them really easy to apply on i do love the shade of this but i don't really know if it is a bit too light for me but i do love it i feel like if i mix them together and really work with it it'll give off that nice contour shade Actually, I do really love it. I feel like it is so nice. It also blends out really well. I've actually changed my mind. I am starting to really like it and just really like the consistency of it and the shades of it too. I did just mix the bottom row together and I feel like it gives off such a nice contour shape to it as you can see it just it's not too in your face and that's what I really like I actually do really like this contour now that I've blended it out a little bit more at first I wasn't really sure but I definitely do really love it and how it looks and I just think it's so cool that there's a lighter shade in all different shades that's why I just love Made by Mitchell and his makeup product I was actually going to use the other highlighters in the light curve case but I did actually want to show you a few favourites of this extra large curve case look at how many shades are all in this extra large 
large recurve case it's so nice and i love every single color that's in here it's just stunning honestly i am obsessed with this it's literally like chocolate and i love all the blush and all of the contour shades all in one as you can see i haven't really used many of these shades so i do want to do a video of me trying out these shades and like a creative fun video i am just going to pop on some blush because i love these two shades that i have been using in this curve case i'm just going to take one of these brushes i did actually clean all of my brushes the other day so it feels very sad just to go in with it because i love using clean brushes as well at the same time so i'm going to be using this blush this is called cold heart this is one of my favorites as well as strawberry cream so i'm going to mix that in together and then i'm also going to mix it in with posy rosy because i love posy rosy i just sort of like mix all of my shades together because i just feel like it gives off a really nice consistency can you see the pigment of that blush that is why this extra large curve case has been obsession of mine recently i've not stopped putting it down until i've got it honestly i am obsessed like this is a staple of my every single day makeup routine if you haven't tried this at a large curve case you definitely need to look at the pigment of that blush so subtle and so nice my powder i do always use the huda beauty powder but i do have this new powder and it's called body collection glow luminous face powder and i'm gonna try it it looks really nice so i'm gonna give this a go even though i honestly love the huda beauty powder i haven't actually opened this so i am just opening it now i love trying new makeup products and seeing what they're all about in a new video it's just one of my favorite things to do i'm really excited to see what this is this powder and see if it's any good for my powder puff i'm using the clay minor powder puff because these are the only powder puffs that i will use on my face because of how soft and nice they are and how good products generally pick up and just glide on your face this powder is really good but i do feel like you have to build it up to get that nice seamless look it's also really nice and glowy as well as it is called a glow powder i do like that overall it isn't a bad concealer it is it isn't a bad powder it is really good i got this bronzer when i was on holiday in a beauty outlet and it's called double u7 and i'm not really sure how to pronounce that word but this is what it looks like it does look like a really nice bronzer it's super cute so i am gonna try it i'm using a made by mitchell brush to try that with i'm literally just going to pop some here and just around the contour area and my cheek i actually love this bronzer i love the consistency of it and how bronzy it actually is like it isn't too much it's a very subtle bronzer i feel like this would be perfect for a glowy makeup look so i will do a video of that with using this bronzer because i feel like this video has been very matte look and i just feel like this also looks really nice with a matte but i do think it'll be look nicer with um, a glowy bronzer it does glide on your face so nicely but i really like that that is the bronzer so i feel like it would look nicer on a glowy look rather than a matte because i feel like this has been very matte and my cream. highlighter i am going to be using two different highlighters so this is one i've never used before and this is one i have been loving recently and of course it is made by mitchell because i'm just living with these made by mitchell products i'm obsessed this shade is called such a slob and as you can see it's holographic and i love holographic things whenever i do my art i just love holographic as well 
first why I purchased this one. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then put it onto my cheeks. I love Made by Mitchell highlighters as well. Oh my god, look at that. I'm so excited to put this on my face. It's so holographic. I'm just obsessed. I'm just going to take my fingers for this and just pat it on my cheeks. I love that glow, love it so much. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I don't know why it's taken me this long to use it, to be honest. I've had this quite a while. I got it in a bow bundle mystery. Look at that, it's so nice. I'm also going to put a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes because I love putting highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes just to give it that extra pop it's just such a pretty highlighter it's honestly insane I don't know what he uses it's called a liquid blusher but whatever's inside this is honestly just amazing i could go on about like my pit mitchell all the time i honestly love him at the moment i think he is one of my favorite makeup artists and makeup brand to use so this is called a blush balm and it is in the shade donuts and as you can see it's stunning as well i love it i'm just gonna put that on the back of my hands too and then i'm just gonna mix it in I might just going to go straight in on the face with it. Like, look at that pop of highlighter that it gives off. No, stop, because made by Mitchell products never fail to disappoint. I could just put this all over my face, but I'm not going to because then I will literally look like a disco ball. But I love these two products, they are just insane. And I feel like it's going to be that holographic one in every single day makeup routine of just like this. But my lipstick, I am actually just going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury blush, but you can actually use it for your lips as well. And as you can see, it's well loved. I'm not even sure if she still is bringing this product out, but. It's my favourite to put on for a lip after every single makeup look. For my gloss, I am actually going to be using this Made by Mitchell BB wand because I've not used this yet before so I'm really excited to see what this is all about. I have actually got one for my makeup kit and I have used it on other people and I loved the way it looked. It just looks so nice over this lip gloss and I feel like this is going to become a staple. It just feels really nice on your lips as well and normally I have to be careful with what products to use but this just feels so nice and it doesn't even feel like I've got any gloss on. And it's just such a nice gloss. It definitely is a glowy gloss. I like this gloss, it is really nice. Spray, I am actually going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush for this setting spray. Party all day, stay all day. I feel like this can see this setting spray is really good and it definitely lasts a really long time. But I feel like there are other ones that I do need to try because I'm getting kind of bored of this one. But I do also really like it and I've had it for ages and it's still got a lot left. This is the larger version because I was just using it all the time. I love this setting spray because it smells so good. It literally smells like a perfume. And it also gives off such a nice glow to this it. This is the finished makeup look. I love how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching me create this makeup look and try a load of new different makeup products in this video. The sun is actually coming out now so I feel like you can see it very clearly. Now I love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you again in my next video.